Hello everyone, welcome to Pratibha Tech. In this video, we will solve the problem of the day question on Geeks for Geeks for 29th June 2023. The problem statement for today is not a uh, next happy number. Let's now open this problem to solve it. Let's go through and understand the given problem statement. Given problem statement says, for a given non-negative integer n, find the next smallest happy number. A number is said to be happy if it leads to 1 after a sequence of steps, wherein at each step the number is replaced by the sum of the squares of its digit. That is, if we start with a happy number and we keep replacing the sum of its square of its digit, we reach 1 at some point. So if we reach 1 at, at any point, then we can say that that particular number is happy, else if you are not reaching to 1, then we can say that that particular number is not happy. Okay. So the problem statement asks us to find the next smallest happy number which is greater than n. We need to determine the next number that is m which will be, which will be greater than n that satisfies the condition of being a happy number. So uh, for this we will be performing a sequence of steps. That means each time the number will be replaced by sum of the squares of its digit. And if it is leading to 1 at any point, then we can say that that particular number is happy. Okay. So let's go through the given examples here. So the first example says here n is equal to 8. So here the output which is indicating as 10, it says that 10 is the next happy number. So in explanation it is given that next happy number after 8 is 10. Since if we do the square of each digit, that means 1 and 0, we get the sum as 1. So here it is uh, reaching that condition which is given in the problem statement that we are reaching 1. If it is reaching 1, then we can say that particular number is a happy number. So that's why the 10 is the output. If we look at the second example. So, so the second example says n is equal to 10. So we have to find the next happy number. 10 is already happy number. So we have to find the next happy number. So here the output is 13. So after 10, 13 is the smallest happy, happy number. Because if we do the sum of the square of each digit, which is equal to 10 here, 1 into 1 plus 3 into 3, that will lead to 10. So if we replace 10 by, uh, if we replace 13 by 10, and we again perform the same operation. So again, it will lead to n, uh, it, will, it will lead to 1. So it will satisfy the condition which is given in the problem statement. And we can say that 13 is a happy number. Okay, so I hope um, both the problem statement and the given examples are clear. So for solving this problem, uh, we will use a brute force approach to find the next smallest happy number greater than the number n. It will start by checking from n plus 1 and keep incrementing the number until a, until a happy number is found. Okay, to determine whether a number is happy or not, we what we'll do, we'll uh, repeatedly replace the number with the sum of the squares of the digit until we reach 1 or get stuck in a loop. Okay, so let's see that how we will progress to the solution with the example here. So I have taken the example of the second one where the input was 10. So we have to find the next happy, uh, happy number after 10. So if you consider 11, okay, if you consider 11, then if we uh, do a square of both the digit, and we add them, then we will get 2. So now 11 will be replaced by 2. Next, in next step, since 2 is only one, uh, so 2 is the only digit here, if we do a square of it, then you will get 4. Okay. And even, even if you are continuing from 4, then eventually I, again you will end up in 4 only. So here we are saying that if you are reaching at 4 anywhere, then from that point it is impossible to reach to a happy number. So that's why we will be applying a check that at any point if you get the number as 4 that means after doing the square of the digits and adding them together if you get 4 at any point then we will say that we will conclude that this is getting stuck in a loop. You can try for any number if that is not a valid happy number then it will always end at 4. Okay. Similarly for if you check for 12 then if we uh, take the square of each digit and we add them, then first it will become 5. If you take the square of 5, it will become 25. 
if we take the square of both the digit and add them it will become 29 it then same thing a square of uh, 20 uh, a square of, of both the digit in 29 that is 9 and 2 9 square is 81 81 plus 2 square is 4 81 plus 4 that is 85 similarly if you add these two 64 and 25 89 if we do the square of both this number and we add them we will get 120 145 similarly if you keep on doing then it will reach 4 okay so here we are reaching at 4 then if you even if we continue like the way i said in the previous example it will again continue and it will again come back to 4 itself so even 12 is not a happy number so when we check for 13 so here um, if you check if we take the square of both the digit and we add them we get 10 then from 10 we can say if we add both the digit we will get 1 so here we are reaching 1 so that's why the output is 13 here saying that 13 is the next happy number okay so with this exact approach I will be solving this problem I have already prepared a solution for it first I will solve in Java so let me copy the code here let me replace this part okay so let me first check the braces here this is getting closed here and this is getting closed here okay so yeah uh, so we can see uh, um, i will explain this algorithm the what exactly is is done in the solution so uh, here we are starting with the happy uh, next happy method function which takes the input parameter as n then we have initialized a next number with n plus 1 to check starting from the next number then we are entering a while loop that continues indefinitely until a happy number is found and inside this loop we are calling is happy method this one to check if if the next number is happy if is happy returns true if this is return, returning true it means the next number is a happy number and we return next number as the next smallest happy number if is happy returns false then what we do we do not return anything here we look for the next number so what we do we increment the next number variable here and continue to the next iteration of the loop now if you see this is happy method implementation then here we initialize a while loop that continues indefinitely until a happy number is determined okay inside this loop calculate we are calculating the sum of the uh, some of the squares of each digit of the number parameter here we are taking the modulus by 10 and we are extracting each digit and we are uh, we are doing a square of the digit and we are adding back to sum and after each uh, digit is taken we are reducing the number by dividing it by 10 that means we are just extracting each number and we are uh, storing the square of each digit in some variable after that we check if the sum is equal to 1 then we are returning true as this is indicating that the number is happy but if the sum is equal to 4 okay we are checking if the sum is equal to 4 that means if then if this is true then we return false as the number is not happy and this will stuck in a loop if the number is not either 1 or 4 then what we do we update the num with the new num and continue the uh, continue the loop so here whatever the value we are getting so that we are update that um, value we are updating the num variable same value and so that we will continue so this will lead to the uh, this the sequence of operations which we have already seen like um, for if you are getting from 525 then um, num will be replaced by 25 so that the next set, next set of operations will be performed on the number 25 that means taking the square of each digit and adding them which will lead to 29 similarly it will it goes on okay so um, if known happy number is found in the uh, next happy method the loop will continue in indefinitely okay this one so here it is indicating that if we are not getting any um, any true from this one uh, or any false from, uh, from that one so it will keep on checking the next for the next number and it will continue the loop um, until we until it finds the next happy number okay so this is the solution in java i hope uh, the state the uh, solution is pretty clear so let me compile this code
so here we can see uh, for this input which is taken here as 8 it has given the output as 10 indicating that 10 is a happy number we'll check for that example which we have taken we will check for 10 it should give 13 here so here we can see we have got 13 as the output let's try submitting this java solution So here we can see we have got all the test cases covered. So this problem has been solved successfully in Java. So when we talk about the time complexity of this solution, actually it is um, that the complexity of the solution depends on two main factors. That is the range of the numbers to check for the next happy number and the number of digits in each number. So for range of number, in the worst case, we, we need to check all the numbers starting from n plus one until we find the next happy number. Let's assume the next happy number after n is m. Therefore, the range of the number to check that will be m minus n plus 1. That means we are starting from n plus 1 and if the next number happy number is m. So how many numbers we have checked that range that will be like m minus n plus 1 because we are starting with m and n plus 1. As a result, the time complexity related to this range is big O of m minus n. Now the second factor that was related to number of digits. In, if you see in this method is happy method. So this iterates through the digit of a number and calculate the sum of the squares of the digit. The number of digits in a number in a number num is, a, is approximately big O of log num. Therefore the time complexity related to this number of digits is we go of log num. So considering both the factors, the overall time complexity of solution can be approximated as as we go of m minus n into log m. So this so this was the time complexity for this solution. Even I prepared C plus plus solution. So let me move to G, uh, C plus plus editor. Here the logic is completely same but only the syntactical difference we have between C++ and Java if any in, in this code then that will be reflecting here. So again here also um, the logic is completely same. We are first initializing a next number then we are calling is happy method and we are passing that number to check whether this number is a happy number or not. Then we are extracting each digit and performing the summation of that number. Okay, until that, uh, un until we consider all the digits of that number. Once that is done, then we check whether the sum is 1 or 4. If it is 1, then we consider it as happy number, which was given as the condition in the problem statement. If it is 4, then we are concluding that it will, uh, this number will never be a happy number. It will, that means it has stuck in a loop. If, if uh, none of this case is there, then we update the num with the sum so that it can check for the next number. Okay. So here the uh, solution is is exactly same as Java only. So let's compile this solution. So here also see you can see in, even in C++ we have got 13 as the output. Let's try submitting the solution. So even with C++ we have got all the test cases covered. So this problem has been solved successfully in both the languages that in Java and C++. So I'll provide the link for this question and the link for the solution code in Java and, and C++ in the description box. Please do check that. That's all in this video. Please like, comment and share the video and please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.